Hey guys, Queen here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Coliseum. So, last episode, I believe we left off uh, fighting all of these trainers, who I think are down here, or up here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're trying to follow... Oh, wait. Actually, this is the wrong way. It's down the stairs. I knew I was right going down and not going up. Um... But we're in the process of following Venus, I believe, who ran off last episode um, down the staircase of many trainers and decided to put a whole bunch of roadblocks in front of us. So we need to get down there to her, but in order to do that we have to traverse down all of these many stairs and fight all of these many trainers. And last episode I believe we fought two of them. Um, I think because every one of them might possibly have a shadow Pokemon. So, we're gonna have to uh, be on the lookout for some more shadows and catch some. Also, I believe we were running sort of low. I'm not for sure if we were or not, but we were running kind of low on some Pokeballs. So I do at some point need to go back and get some of those. I just haven't really had the opportunity to do that yet. Just like I haven't had the opportunity to uh, go back. Well, what do you know? I hardly thought that I'd have to get involved in this. Uh, just like I uh, need to go back and purify the hearts of a few Pokemon. We're still working on that. We've got a few more to go. Um, but we still need to purify a few more mons. Uh, so we've got a lot of work to do and a lot of extra things that I need to get done as well. But I'm really hoping we can kind of get through with this uh, pretty quickly. Mostly because uh, I think Meditite is going to be a detriment to us. We don't want to have Meditite on our team because obviously it's going to be really weak right now. So going into hyper mode is going to be probably the best bet for us on it. So it can uh, it can go into hyper mode all at once. I will gladly call out his name because we are really close. Please don't hit me. Of course you would hit my Meditite when it's in hyper mode. Of course you would. Of course. <sighs> That's why I don't want to use Meditite because now I think the hyper mode goes away and we're not going to be able to call its name and get its bar lowered any lower than that. Look, Dunsparce is almost done already as well, and to be honest, I think Dunsparce would probably be a lot better and useful to the team than that Metatite would. <sighs> but whatever. So we do need to go get some Pokeballs at some point. We do need to go and purify the hearts of the ones that we're clearing. And I think that's about it. We're looking for Venus once again. Just to recap, I'm trying to recap everything in my head uh, so I can get a handle of, on what we're doing as well. Um, but I think that's about it for now. One thing I do want to mention though is uh, last episode. I do want to like apologize for last episode if it seemed a little weird or a little off. Um, I don't remember exactly what we did last episode. I know we did a bunch of this right here. We did a bunch of the battling on the stairs. I can't remember if we were still looking around the town or not, but I know we had trouble catching that Stantler. I do remember that. Um, and that kind of got on my nerves a little bit because, I mean, if it's a legendary, I can understand. But it's just a Stantler, so why are we having to have so much trouble trying to catch it? Here I am, recording for like over 30 minutes or so, and I'm wanting to wrap up the episode after the battle, but unfortunately, everybody decides they want they want to be difficult and not get captured, and then of course I get used to the speed of the game being up, and then I get annoyed whenever it's not, so... <laughs> Ugh. I think we might be actually a little underleveled for this, honestly. I don't know where I would be able to train, but if I could find a place to train, that would probably be a good idea. I think I can train at the stadium 
in what is it, Bright Town? Is that the name of the town? Um, I can't remember. Wow, just high promoting it up and everybody's just destroying me. That's nice. I really appreciate it, you guys. Really appreciate it. And if you have a nice type move, Pseudo Widow is not lasting. Let me just tell you right now. You might be level 35, Pseudo Widow, but you're not lasting. Uh, you know what? Let's confuse this thing, this masquerade, because it looks like it's going to be a problem. It's level 39. I mean, we don't even have that high of a level of Pokemon on our team, not even with Umbreon or Espeon. So I'm, I'm definitely not wanting to deal with that right now. <sighs> and the stun spore as well. That's not something I want to deal with. I love how the masquerade was like, hey, I'm going to use this move on Swablu and kill it in one hit, but I'm not going to use it again on your Sudowoodo. I'm just gonna paralyze it first. Like, what? Why? Of course they just happen to have super effective moves against all my Pokemon, you know. And they just managed to get the paralysis and the confusion, so all the hacks are coming my way today. All of them. Like, what the heck? Seriously? I'm not in the mood for this, guys. I'm not in the mood for this today. So, I was saying, I did want to apologize for the last episode. It was a little weird. Um, just the multiple battles like this over and over and over again with no breakup in the story to me kind of gets on my nerves because I'm just sitting here like, okay, really? Dunsparce use this, Masquerine use this, Umbreon use this, Sudowoodo use this, and I'm out of things to talk about now. <laughs> so I would really like the battling to kind of be the same as the story. So we have a little story, we have little battles, just some different things that I I've noticed through this part of the game. And I do remember playing this part of the game on the GameCube as well. It was kind of annoying to me then too because I had to keep running back and healing up. But you had to go all the way back up the stairs to heal up. So really it was kind of annoying. And I, with this game, if they drop a shadow Pokemon on me like every battle, then I have to go back after each battle so that I can not only heal everyone up, but I have to go back and, uh... Oh gosh, just lost my train of thought because Sudowoodo went down. There's all of my Shadow Pokemon, gone. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the thing game with the battles, because I have to go keep going back and healing up, keep, keep going back and putting things back in the PC whenever uh, the shadows, the shadow level goes down to zero. And this part of the game is kind of like the can you stay with it part of the game in my opinion <laughs> because to me it just seems like they make this part of the game here for you wow level 43 and there's my shadow of course it's like they make this part of the game here for you so that you're going to struggle so much um for no apparent reason whatsoever and they're gonna see if you're gonna keep keep, keep playing i guess i don't know <laughs> It just seems annoying to me. I think I remember, um, I can't even think when I played it that this is the part of the game where I stopped playing. Maybe. Like, I know there was a second or third time that I played through it again, because what I, what I usually like to do is I went through uh, the game and I went and played up to a certain point and then I would kind of get bored move on, do something else, and I come back to it later on. And so I came back to it and decided, you know what, I'm going to start over again. So I started over again, did the same thing, and ended up stopping at a certain point. So I'm, I'm kind of at the point right now where I'm like, come on, let's do something, let's have something happen here. We really want something to be happening. So that we, uh, oh, Espeon, come on, don't get paralyzed. So that we're not just in these instant battle loops over and over and over again. You know what? I'm going to use secret power um, because when he does come back up, I'm going to see if we can get a status element with secret power. It might be confusion. Maybe. Potentially confusion. I'm not sure if it will be or not. Um, but if we could get like a paralysis or something on it, it would be a lot better for us trying to catch it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna heal with Espeon's turn because Espeon and Umbreon are like literally our only surviving team members right now and we have a level 43 Palace Wine on our team. Or not on our team yet, but 
on the opposing side. We have a level 43 palace wine. Uh, if I had to probably say something about the the game in general as far as liking or not liking in the game, I've already stated I do like the game. It has some of my favorite music that uh, these games have. Now, it, I don't think I would consider it like a main series game, um, but it did come out for a console, so that's something to note as well. Um, but I would say it was probably my favorite console game, but then again, we can't say that now because the Switch is a thing, and technically it's console, even though I don't really play it console mode, I play it on uh, um, handheld mode. I don't play the Switch on console mode very much. I'm not, I don't like it. I guess it's because of my TV. I'm not really too sure, but when I plug my Switch into my TV, it does not look good at all. I have no idea why. Okay, so I'm going to use a healing item for Espeon here, because you are not going down on my watch, Espeon. As much as I hate using Hyper Potions, I will use one on you, because we don't want you fainting, um, because that return needs to go up in power, not go down. Uh, but yeah, I, I do like this game. I love the music in the game. I like that this was one of the first, like, I guess you could call it revol revolutionary games. Um, in terms of Pokemon, because, well, no, I can't really say that now, can I? Because technically, we had some Pokemon Stadium with the 3D Pokemon action, but to me, this one was a lot better done than Pokemon Stadium was. It wasn't as much of a, um, as much of one that you would go through and kind of, um, it wasn't one that you would go through and just be like, hey, I think that I should, what am I trying to say? I, I'm trying to do two different things at once. Right now I want to save, um, real quick. Because we are about ready to use a Pokeball and I want to save the, as, them as much as possible. You know what, I'm gonna use a regular one as much as I think it's not going to work. Uh, I'm just gonna use a regular one. So the game, is good. I like the game. I like the music in the game. Um, now I haven't played through it fully so I can't say if I like the story a bunch but I do like the story so far. Um, it's actually really entertaining with Mirror B and stuff. He's actually one of my favorite characters um, and his music is amazing. I like his music. Um, let's see. The, the Pokemon choices? Probably not as much because you are limited. You can't just go out in the wild and catch Pokemon, so you're not able to do that. You have to get what kind of Pokemon are given to you, but that part of the game I actually like as well. This is like the first time where a Pokemon game was like, hey, you can catch your opponent's Pokemon. We're going to allow you to do that. <laughs> so I like that aspect of it as well because I, I actually really liked it whenever you would throw a Pokemon at someone in the main series game and they'd be like, hey, don't catch someone else's Pokemon, but in this game we're like the villain, quote unquote. We're not really the villain, but we are at first. So yeah, we can catch people's Pokemon. <laughs> I'm a loser. I can't show my face in front of Lady Venus like this. Well, loser, I'm going to go back. You completely destroyed my team. Um, so we're going to go heal and we're going to go save <laughs> because that was a bunch of stuff. That went down. At least Piloswine was a lot easier to catch than that Stantler was. What is Stantler's catch rate anyway? Because it shouldn't have been that hard to catch, honestly. Alright. Piloswine was super easy to catch compared to Stantler. Alright, so we're gonna heal up and then we're gonna go save and I'm gonna see after I heal up if they're still in hyper mode. I doubt they are, but I'm gonna see if they are. If they were, that would be incredibly helpful. All right, let's see. No, they're not. Of course not. Okay. Well, whatever. We're gonna save and continue on. So, the reason I say that <clears throat> this probably isn't 
like my favorite in terms of console games um, because of the Switch is now a thing. The main series Pokemon games are now technically on consoles, but they can be handhelds. So you see how that gets confusing? Like, I like this game for its time, it was a really good game. Just like Pokemon Stadium for its time was a good game because who wouldn't love to just get a level 100 Charizard and just battle through or pick a team of six level 100s and just do whatever you want with whatever gen 1 gen 2 pokemon that you wanted that would that was really cool i like i enjoyed that aspect of it um so that part i really liked and then this one i really liked for the gamecube um and also i guess i would have to say for the switch right now I'm really liking Sword and Shield. I think it's really good. Forget about getting past me. I'll protect Lady Venus from you. Alright, one more battle and then we should be at Lady Venus. And I'm hoping we don't have to battle her again because we just fought her and captured a Suicune. So if she wants to battle us again, that's going to be annoying. But we're down here again. We're still level 40s. We're still struggling along, but hey, whatever. We're doing it. Uh, but Sword and Shield, I have to say, has been pretty freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoy it. Um, the first game on the Switch, that's a Pokemon main series game, so it does have that accolade, accolade or whatever. Um, it's also... You're <sighs> useless, Metatite, you're useless. It's also got some pretty cool music. I do like the music in that game a lot. I like it more than I thought I would. Like when I first saw the um, the stuff for the game, I was like, this is just another standard Pokemon game. I'm excited for it, yes. I'm ready for the Switch to get its game. Um, and I'm ready for things to get back to, to normal now because we're done with the 3DS and we're ready to go on into the Switch universe. Um, so I was happy about that. Some people were upset about the game and weren't happy about it. So far, I played through it and I'm not finished with it yet. Um, unlike some people, I did not race through the game. I want to take it pretty slow. Because let's be honest here, this game is going to have to last us probably the next year or so. So it's going to be a while before we get another one. Unless they announce like a generation remake game, which I'm not even going to say which generation because I know everybody wants this one for some particular reason. Um, but yeah, they're going to announce that and that'll be like a technically a next game. But this one's going to be our main series that's going to stick around for a while. Um, so I'm playing it pretty slow. But so far I really enjoy it. I really love the, um, the music in it. Kind of compared to Colosseum. It's probably some of my favorite music in the Pokemon games. You guys know how I hype up Colosseum for its music. I love Colosseum's music. And since I'm a Gen 3 girl, I'm a lover of Gen 3. I love the Gen 3 music, okay? That just goes along with liking the game. But, also, I'm a big fan of the Gen 8 music and uh, Sword and Shield. I like that music quite a bit. I really do. So I'm definitely, I'm definitely okay. I'm on the side of the people who like the games. There was a lot of people who were cr criticizing them um, and saying how bad they looked. I have not seen anything up to this point that has made me want to be like, these games are terrible. These graphics are terrible. This game looks horrible. Like what? What are you talking about? There is nothing like that that I've seen. I mean, it looks like a Pokemon game. What did you expect it to look like? Like Grand Theft Auto? You expect it to look like Breath of the Wild? No, it's not gonna look like that. I'm sorry, it's just not. Okay, this Viper has got to go. I'm gonna deal with you, Viper. I love how every battle that we're getting into now means that we lose all of our team except for Ep Espeon and Umbreon. <laughs> We have such a weak team right now, but we're working on it, okay? We're getting there. We're almost there, technically. Technically, we have just a few more battles to do with Metatite and potentially a few more to do with um, 
done sparse as well and then we'll get to switch those out i think we're actually getting pretty close to using entei and i'm super excited to use entei um i've been looking forward to using entei for a really long time i don't think i actually ever got to use it um myself whenever i played through this game before so and that's talking like all the times that i played through the game i don't think i've ever got to use it yet neither have i got to use suicune either which super happy about using Suicune as well. This is going to be fun for me to finally get to use some legends in this game. Alright, Sudo Widow, you're going down. I'm sorry, but your surf is definitely going to take you out. Um, but at this point, I'm okay with it. I think Espeon and Umbreon could use the levels. Um, so I'm not really too worried about you, Shadows. We're just going to keep our main... What do we got? Yeah, our main boys up here. And keep them satisfied and uh, we're not gonna worry about anyone else all right this should take out the survivor oh wait you're still underground dang it i would have known that i would have went for the corsola speaking of corsola corsola got an evolution <gasps> yes it did I, ha I have not seen it yet so i can't say for sure what it looks like if i like it or not but it got a new form uh, with the sh Sword and Shield games, it got a Galarian form, where it was Ghost-type. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. And it also got an evolution, I've heard. I have not evolved mine myself, but I did get one. Someone did trade me over one from uh, Pokemon Shield, since I bought Pokemon Sh Sword. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it evolves into. They said that it was their favorite Gen 8 Pokemon. So I'm hoping it's pretty cool evolution. Ooh, and would you look at that? It looks like our next Pokemon that we get to catch is going to be a Sneasel. Alright, so we just need to get this Corsola out of here and then we can handle the Sneasel. Um, so I think what I'm going to need to do- actually, I should have been using Reflect for Espeon. Uh, but I'll have time to do that later. I just gotta worry, kinda worry if this Sneasel, yeah, it's gonna hit hard. Crap. Okay, we gotta take care of this Corsola right now. Because if Espeon goes down, we're kind of in a bit of a pickle here. So I don't want that to happen. We're gonna raise our defense with uh, Reflect, and this should take out the Corsola. Hoping she doesn't have another Pokemon. She might, but I hope she doesn't. And then I'm gonna use a Hyper Potion on Espeon and heal it up. Honestly, I think Corsola actually did need a um, an evolution. It's kind of like Dunsparce, where I'm just like, can you guys can you guys evolve? Because <laughs> you're you're kind of useless unless you evolve. Although Corsola is pretty strong because it is part rock type, so it's pretty sturdy. Um, but other than that, it's just kind of there just like dense parses and i kind of would like to have some sort of an evolution you know for me i'm big on the evolutions like i think every pokemon should have an evolution whether it does or not um is something that i'm kind of like iffy on like i do think they should have an evolution but then some people are like no they're good they don't need an evolution so either way, I'm kind of just one of those people who's like, I think they should. But then they're like, no, they don't. They're good. They don't need it. <laughs> because it's Pokemon. That's the whole point, is to evolve your Pokemon. Okay, so since Umbreon can't do anything, we're going to go Pokeball with Umbreon. Um, and we're also going to save as well, because I'm not going to do this battle again. Um, even if I have to... Even if I have to go and continue to do this multiple times, I will do it multiple times. Um, but I think Sneasel should be okay to catch. Should be pretty okay. Shouldn't be too hard and too difficult to catch. It, probably, it might be like Pilot Swine. Or not. Might not be like Pilot Swine. <laughs> Either way, I think we can attack it some more. Actually, Espeon's gonna go down, and that's not good. That's not what we want. So, 
Let's try that again, and this time let's use a great ball. I have 30 of them, so why not use them? I know it's not in, even in the yellow, so I shouldn't even be trying to catch it right now. Um, but since we've been going on for about 25 minutes now, I think it would be a good idea to exit off, or not exit off, what am I talking about? <laughs> Stop the episode before we head into the area where Venus is. Because I'm gonna need to do some things off screen. I've done figured that out. Uh, before we enter into this area. This makes me feel like going somewhere far away by train. You mean to the station? Actually, I don't know if you battle Venus here. I think she just gets on the train and leaves. Um, but in case she doesn't, you know what, what am I doing? I don't have to go up this, I can go up the elevator. It'll be way quicker. In case somebody does try to stop us, what? How come I can't go up the elevator? She went down the elevator, why can't I go up it? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Well, we'll go back and save anyway. If it puts us into story, and we have a battle, then I'll probably just end off the episode and then I'll go back to where I saved from, and then we'll come back in at that part of the story, if that makes any sense. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I want to go and buy some Pokeballs. Um, I want to Actually, I want to buy some more potions as well. I think we're going to need a lot more of those. And then I want to go to one of the stadiums, and I want to train some with the Shadow Pokemon that I have, because I think you can do that. And it should lower their uh, shadow level a little bit so we can kind of get rid of some of these weaklings that we have on our team. Because we clearly can't manage to do one battle without Espeon and Umbreon. So, we're going to save here. And then we will go down and check out what's going on with Venus. Um, because I, I feel like I remember this part where she gets in a train and she just runs away because... She was already running away to begin with, and now she's just run away completely. Um, so let's go see what she's doing down here, and hopefully we won't have to do any more battles. I mean, we just did, what, one, two, three, and I think that girl at the bottom is four. We just did four battles in a row, technically. So we shouldn't have to do any more. Although this game is big on that. Okay, let's go in here and see what's going on with Venus. Before that horrible boy can meddle anymore, I'll link up with Ian at the Shadow Pokemon Lab. <sighs> Why do you have to chase me here? It's so unfair! <sighs> this isn't good. I can't lead them to the lab. There we go. She's just gonna get on the train. And she wants us to follow her, apparently. I'm gonna go down this way first though, see if there's any items. Oh, and I can just enter the train? <laughs> okay. I'll just enter the train this way. Oh, I can't. There's no key. I don't think we have a train key. Where the heck did she go? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> you are so easy to do. See, the key for the shadow liner is right here. You didn't think I would really let you take our train. <laughs> bye bye, and this time I mean it. Don't you dare forget about me. Okay, yeah, so she's just gonna run away. Unfortunately. Like a little scaredy cat that she is. Um, I'm just gonna check the station here because I wanna make sure there isn't nothing I'm missing. I see a box right there, so I'm gonna grab it. Ooh, black glasses. That is going to be useful for you-know-who. Let's put that on Umbreon. Ooh, we have a Quick Claw as well. I can't use it. Why am I using it? I'm going to give this to Umbreon. And you know what? I'm going to give the Quick Claw to... Oh wait, SPR already have something, so okay, that's fine. We have an EXP share as well. Okay. I don't think anybody needs the Quick Claw. I've, I've been known to have some, some terrible luck with Quick Claws and Pokemon dying in Nuzlocke's, but this isn't a Nuzlocke, so it doesn't matter. 
Okay, so we can't start the uh, the train, I don't think, because she has the key. So the question is, oh wait, what's this? She dropped the key? She dropped the key. What a loser. Alright, well we can take the train then. I know, I said that we weren't going to... Uh, we weren't going to go any farther, but we've already got the key, so we might as well use it. Let's see where we're gonna go. Ooh, I like that. It lights up and everything. And this is so high-tech. This train is pretty freaking cool. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty cool train. <clears throat> this game was ahead of its time. Alright, where are we now? Nothing down there. Oh, I see a box though on the other side. Rui, if you don't get out of my friggin' way. You are so annoying. Oh, of course. Of course, they're gonna wanna battle us. Rui, get out of the way! You know what? Maybe they don't wanna battle us. I'm gonna save right here, actually. And see if they wanna battle us. Because they might just say you can't go through here right now. Yo, how's it going? Just getting off shift, huh? Wasn't Lady Venus supposed to be coming today? Huh, hmm. I've seen your faces somewhere. That's it. The blacklist. You're Wes and Rui. How'd you get down here? Ugh, this won't do. We can't let those two get into the Shadow Pokemon lab. Alright, run away just like Lady Venus. And I'm guessing you're gonna lock the- Oh my goodness. Alright, well, that was a shocking blast of events. Wow, okay. <laughs> Got a U-disc as well, which should let us get that other item. Alright, so yeah, that just happened. An explosion just happened, and uh, yeah. I'm not going in there right now. <laughs> We're gonna find out what happens with that explosion in the next episode, so I'm gonna go back off screen. And I am going to go get some more potions. I could, I might potentially get some more Pokeballs and then I'm gonna see if I can get some of these shadow Pokemon that are on our team currently off of our team, okay? So I'm going to try to get these uh, shadow thingy majiggers, the gauges, down to zero, especially for Metatite and for Dunsparce um, because it's literally almost there. And probably for Swablu as well. Sudowoodoo not too much because it is level 35 and a rock type. So it should be kind of helpful whenever its uh, gauge goes down a little bit. Uh, but those three mostly I want to get off the team and get some new members. So potentially next time we come into the game we could have a pretty different team. But for now we're going to end it off here and I will see you guys next time in some more Pokemon Coliseum.